Well, there, there are two different categories that you have here. You have mass shootings and you have mass public shootings. The big difference between the two is whether you're going to include things like gang fights over drug turf or you're going to include murders that might result from a robbery. Uh, the reason the FBI and the definition of mass public shootings is look traditionally at four or more people killed in a public place not involving something like a gang fight. And they tried to do that to try to focus on the types of school shootings or the types of shootings that you're talking about that you just mentioned, where they're looking at where cases were the point, the motivation was to kill people, to try to kill as many people as possible. It's not saying that things like gang fights aren't important. It's just that the causes and solutions for stopping gang fights over drug turf are dramatically different than the types of things that you would do to protect people in these mass public shootings. Right. So the FBI used the definition that you talked about first, four or more people killed. Uh, they used that definition for 30 years uh, until 2013. What did they change their definition to? Well, the, under the Obama administration, they changed it down to three or more killed. And the reason why they did that was basically, I think, to make it look like there was an increase in the number of uh, mass shootings that was occurring. There's also been some FBI reports that started coming out under the Obama administration that deal with what you're talking about, where they're talking about active shooting cases. And uh, those, as you say, involve where a gun can be fired in public and nobody is shot. Uh, there's some real problems with that. They, their first report came out about a month before the 2014 election, where they were claiming that there was this huge increase over time, but it was basically because of how they had collected the data. When you go and do a new search on a mass shooting where, let's say, four people are killed, you may get 600 stories on it. Well, if you use Google News Search, which is what they use, stories fall out over time. But if it's a big case where you've had many people killed, whether you go five years back or 10 years back, you're still going to get a lot of cases. But when you're looking at these active shooting cases where guns fired in public and nobody gets shot, you're lucky to get one news story on it. Well, you go back five years, it's very likely it drops out. So about two thirds of these active shooting cases were they just had in the last few years of their period that they looked at. And that's what drove it up. It was simply a question of how they had collected the data. You know, it seems pretty funny that an FBI report wouldn't use, I mean, if people in your audience are lawyers, they'd be familiar with computerized databases like Nexus or Westlaw. Uh, and that's usually what most researchers would use uh, rather than Google news searches on something like this.